most of us would be familiar with the Hollywood blockbuster movie Black Hawk Down, which portrays the dramatic rescue of US troops by their fellow soldiers in the 1993 Battle of Mogadishu. But one thing the movie does not highlight is the contribution of 114 Malaysian soldiers who took part in the United Nations peacekeeping mission in Somalia. On the 66th anniversary of Merdeka, retired Major General Rosie Barum says it is high time the country learns about and honors the sacrifices made by our brave soldiers on the world stage. Our boys, when I say our boys, I mean the soldiers, you, know, you must remember they are also human beings and they are not numbers. So some appreciation, little bit of appreciation must be given to them. Rosie's call follows the release last week of the local movie Malbat Misi Bakara. The movie captures the experiences of Malaysian troops on the East African battlefield. The film offers a glimpse into the grim realities of war experienced by Malaysian peacekeepers deployed in the Somalian capital of Mogadishu. In the Bakara Market mission on October 3, 1993, Malbat led a 70-vehicle column of armored personnel carriers. Supported by a handful of Pakistani tanks and joined by U.S. troops, they navigated their way to the site of the first Black Hawk helicopter crash, deep within the territory controlled by Somali warlord Muhammad Farah Aidid. Retired Captain Mazlan Fauzi, who served as a 27-year-old second lieutenant during the battle, recounted a painstaking journey they had to undertake along narrow roads. I didn't expect that fire come too fast. Right? Hmm. Well, we're expecting the fire we're going to receive maybe near to the objective. But I think uh, Somalia already prepared for that. Mazlan said the convoy came under heavy fire from the militia, which launched rocket-propelled grenades and saw one Malaysian soldier, Lance Corporal Mat Aznan Awang, lose his life. Seven other Malaysian soldiers were wounded in the attack. Mat Aznan's death hit Rosie hard. The, the loss of ABC is not so much a worry to me, but I got to answer about the eight people there. Uh, to me, the... The safety of my boys is my prime concern. Eh? Mazlan said that while soldiers must be willing to lay down their lives for the country, officers like Rosie bear the burden of protecting their troops and ensuring their safe return. These, these soldiers, even though during peacetime they look normal people, you know, but they are not normal. They are special people. They show their courage, you know. They show their commitments. Jason Desmond, FMT News.